You can do lots of things that you can't do with oil. If I was driving an oil operated car, how would I offset those emissions? Right, right. So by, the electricity allows you to do that. It allows you to basically invest in making it cleaner and cleaner and cleaner. And the other big thing for me is, as long as oil monopolizes transportation, we're always at the mercy of these high volatile prices. Because there's no competition. If we want, in the end, low oil prices to stay more permanent, we're going to have to break the monopoly of oil on transportation. When it's all over with, you start looking at the footprint, and it was a little surprising. Was, in fact, I wasn't I wasn't really joking when we first kind of started. So overall, I kind of said, well, wait a minute, if that's the way it works, I actually want to get a car. Uh, and that's when the bell kind of rang that, hey, you know, that's, that's what a lot of people would say if we had a system that was broad enough and uh, easy enough to be able to rely on. So, very exciting. Do you yeah, think you'll buy one? I absolutely will. You will? You will? Oh, oh, absolutely. I have any idea well, which look, one? If the, uh, if the CEO of the electric company doesn't own an electric car, who should own one? That's for sure. So. No, no, no. I got to go shopping. This is a, I get to go look.